My nail just broke. I'm gonna cry. Speaking of crying, I literally was on TikTok last night at like midnight and I stumbled upon this TikTok of a dog. It was like one of those sad TikToks. And usually I skip right through those because I'm just like, nope, not today. They always get me every single time. But it was basically about a dog owner posting their dog that has a tumor and they want to raise enough money to give them surgery. And it ended in me watching the entire video, crying my eyes out and then Venmoing the owner money. Um, so yeah, that was a fun time. Anyways, today's Friday. So happy Friday. There is so much happening this morning. Also, if you can hear my little heater fan, I like travel, it's like a little, like, it's like a little heater. And I travel with it to every single room because it's freezing. So I'm going to a coffee shop this morning. So I'm not gonna drink any coffee now, but I literally feel like death. Like I really, really want some coffee. I also have like a really fun day planned with my friend. We're gonna go to a coffee shop and like get some work done and like eat croissants and like cute coffee or whatever. And then I think we're gonna watch a movie afterwards. And then after the movie, we're gonna go get ramen because that's like the perfect rainy weather food. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. Definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And yeah, let's get this day started. It's almost 2 p.m. so it's not morning. I was gonna say good morning. I hate to be the annoying person that talks about the weather, but I need to talk about the weather because today was literally like, I feel like the most bipolar weather day I've ever experienced in my entire life. So I go to bed last night while it's pouring rain and then I wake up this morning and the freaking sun is out. The sun was shining, it was like it hadn't even rained. And then like 20 minutes later, I'm still in bed, I'm scrolling on my phone. And then I look outside thinking it's raining again and that's when I started recording because it started hailing, like full hailing. And then 30 minutes after that full blown hailstorm, the sun came out and now the sun left and now it's raining again. So <laughs> I have no idea what's happening with this crazy ass weather, but all I know is that I am not leaving my house for the rest of the day. I feel like this vlog is also gonna turn kind of into like a reading vlog because I'm currently reading this book right here before we were strangers. In my last reading vlog when I bought this book, so many of you guys commented in that video and said that you were like absolutely obsessed with this book and just raved about how good this book was. And since I'm not gonna be going anywhere and it's literally raining outside, like there are no better reading vibes than a whole like cozy rainy day. A lot of you guys also said that you cried your eyes out to this book, which is honestly one of the reasons why I haven't read it because I just know that this is literally gonna break my soul in half but honestly that's the plan today and i'm kind of excited about it no matter how heartbreaking this book is i'm in the mood to read something really really good and this right here this is it or at least i hope it is
Okay, so on Sunday when I went to Target, I got this cute little makeup bag. And I had gotten these two from Amazon a couple weeks ago. Like I literally got both of these for like $10. But I think I'm gonna have to save these for traveling or just something else because my makeup doesn't fit in here at all. I feel like this one's gonna fit all of my makeup and my brushes. And it was only $14.99 at Target and it's the Sonia Kashuk brand. It's like the puffer material in this cute little pink color. It's so freaking cute. I'm also getting two packages today that I am so freaking excited about. I've literally been waiting for these packages all day long. As I was literally putting my makeup back together, I just got the package that I've been waiting for. It's right here. This is something that I've been wanting to get for months now and every single time I was about to place the order, I would find a reason or convince myself not to get it until literally I think it was Saturday night when I was like, you know what? I've been wanting it for a really long time. I looked at every single review there possibly can be about this item and I was like, you know what? If it doesn't work out, I can always return it. But it's basically the Shark Flex Style uh it's basically the dyson airwrap dupe this one's exactly half the price of the dyson which don't get me wrong is still really expensive which is why i kept like not getting it but i finally got it and i'm gonna tell you guys if it's worth it or not oh my god i'm so excited here she is it comes with like the wand and it comes with all of these attachments and it basically gives you like it's supposed to give you like a blowout type of style hair before i forget the second package that i was also waiting for was one from amazon i feel like i've been going to a lot of cafes recently and the only bag that i have to carry my laptop is a tote bag that i always take and that one's like not working out for me anymore because it's literally so heavy and i feel like one of these days it's just gonna snap and my computer's gonna fall so i ordered a tote bag from amazon i already love it oh my god i'm obsessed i wanted a long strap i could wear it like this if i want to or like this so much space and it also has a little pocket right there okay i'm gonna try one strand <laughs> We're gonna pretend that my favorite, favorite crew neck I've ever owned is not stained right there. I've washed it 145 million times and it will not come out. So I saw this thing on TikTok the other day and I've been trying it out for the past couple days and it literally looks so good. Basically mixing the Rare Beauty blush with the Rare Beauty highlighter like all in one. I was already mixing the Rare Beauty blush with the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter wand, but the Rare Beauty liquid luminizer is literally luminizing. Like it's really good. The blush is shade Hope. And then the highlighter is in shade Transcend and I do like a bigger dot right next to it. So I was just editing the clips from last night when I was reading before or finishing before we were strangers and I really had a full breakdown over that book or the ending of that book. It's been like 12 hours since I finished that book and I've been raving about it 
everywhere I can. I put it on my Instagram story last night and so many of you guys were asking about it and I was like replying to you guys telling you how amazing this book is. I also went on my Goodreads and literally I don't think I've ever filled out a longer Goodreads review than I did for that book just now. And like I said in my little Goodreads review, I haven't read a book like that good. Like I feel like I read good books all the time. Like I'm constantly reading books that I really, really enjoy. But those type of books where you're just like, holy shit, like this is one of the most beautiful stories I've ever read. It makes you cry at the end, the whole thing. Those type of books are very rare for me to find. But books like Before We Were Strangers are sad, but they're like beautiful type of sad where it's like you're crying, but you're like happy about it, I guess. I don't know. I actually used to think it was so weird to say that I like cried about a book, especially when I first got into reading. I was just like, oh my God, why am I literally crying? about a book right now, like this is hella cringe. I used to think it was so like weird. But honestly, if you were reading what I was reading, you'd cry too, because these type of books are so, it's like watching a sad movie. It's like watching The Notebook when you're like crying your eyes out at the end of it, or just like those really sad movies, but in a book way. I don't even know, but I used to think it was super, super weird. And now I'm like, you know what? It's just another Tuesday. Crying to a book at 2 a.m., what's new? Also, another trick I've been doing is using my, I have so many Rare Beauty products because it's simply the best, but I've been using the Rare Beauty bronzer, obviously as a bronzer, but I've also been using it in like a little, little brush and I get some of it and then I use it as eyeshadow before my eyeshadow. Kind of like contouring your eyelids, but not really. Just because this shade is so freaking gorgeous, it's Happy Sol. And it's just like the perfect little everyday eyeshadow shade. Anyways, I think this vlog is long enough, so this is gonna be the end of this vlog. I'm finally gonna be doing an outro and literally never do one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh wait, one more thing. So crazy thing happened. Whenever things like this happen, I have to remind myself that like other people watch my vlogs than just you guys. Like I literally post my vlogs and I'm like, okay, it's just like, you know, it's like a close friend watching your vlog. But I forget that like other people can also stumble upon my vlogs, like companies and like corporate type of people so that actually happened with I don't know if it was my self-care vlog or my makeup routine vlog where I mentioned the grande lash thing that I've been using the lash enhancing serum that I've been using since literally December and they reached out to me on Instagram and said that they wanted to get a code for you guys and they were also gonna send me another one of these which is so fun and so exciting so if you guys want to get 15% off your grande lash serum or like any of their products you can use my code Carla X Espinoza and yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!